Hello and welcome back. So we are here to save our new user into the database. So this is the information that the user has submitted. Now we need to save it. So let's go to our sign up controller right there. Okay, so sign up controller and this is the content that I have now. I could do all the calculations right here inside this and that would be fine but I like to keep my controller uh, class clean so instead this should be a job for a model because in MVC there is a model view controller so we've used the controllers and the views but now let's use a model okay so in order to use a model, let me go to the controllers. Uh, let me go to core, actually, core folder and click on controller. Now I want to create a function that will be loading our models on our behalf. The same way we are loading the views here. So I will simply duplicate this. And this one will be called load underscore model. So the reason I'm putting it in the main controller here is because all the other controllers in the controller folder will may one way or another need to use this function. So it's better to just uh, keep it there. So let me remove this and this will be the model name. So I'll just say model like that. Okay. So for models, we don't need the theme path here because the models live inside model, the models folder and not the theme folder. So it will be like this. And okay, so we are checking if the file exists. No, it's not in views, it's in models. Okay, so if this file exists, include the file. And then if you've included the file, return something. So we're going to return uh, an instance of whatever this model is. So let me copy this model here and I'm going to say uh, return model is equal to, or you don't have to say model, you can just say a is equal to new model. Just like that. Okay. So we're returning an inst instance of this. Otherwise we can return false. Just so we know that uh, things didn't go well. Okay, so let's give this a spin to see if it's actually working. So um, I'm going to go to models here and inside the folder, I'll create a new folder, save this one as, uh, this will be the sign up. So in uh, the models are actually classes uh, of file. Th these are classes that do very specific things and the reason we save them in models instead of just putting them in the controller there is because a, a single model can be used by many controllers. Uh, for example, the if we have a user class, uh, we can use the user class multiple times uh, depending on what page we are on. For example, in signing up, we use the user class. When logging in, we use the user class. And so different controllers will use the same uh, the same file. So sign up. So instead of all this, I'm going to call this one the user the user class. So I'm going to say user dot. Now here it's up to you. You can say user dot class dot php. Now the important thing is to maintain a very specific standard that you want. So if you want to be naming the classes this way then you must remember that this is how you're naming them. So this one is user.class.php. So I will save it there. And then I'll put my PHP tags over here and create class user. Like that, class user. And then like so. Goody. Now, let me go back to my main controller here and see how we'll be loading these files. So if I want to get the user class, I will say user. Now, for me to check if the file exists, remember that we are using .class.php. So let's put the class at the end here. And actually the dot at the beginning here. 
and then I will make sure that this is re uh, saved into the lower version. So I'm going to say string to lower. Okay, like this. So if it exists, return the model. Okay, I think this is about it. So in order to test this, I will have to go to the signup controller right here. Just to see if there will be no errors. So I'm going to say user is equal to new. Oh, instead of this, I would just say load class. Sorry, my bad. Load model, actually, that's what we named it. And then I'll give it the in model name. This one is user, like so. And then I must not forget this since we are inside a class here. So let's give it a spin. If everything goes well, we won't see any errors. So resend the data. And the fact that I haven't seen any error means everything went well. So in the user uh, class here, where is the user class? Somewhere here, user.class.php. I will have a few functions here. Function, uh, for example, we'll have one function where it says uh, sign up. Okay, so there will be a function sign up. And then here there will be some post data. So we just use post like that. We won't put the underscore because I don't want to use the super global. This is just a variable here. So there'll be one for sign up. There'll be another function for login. Ooh. Like that. So then uh, there will be another function here. So we'll have a bunch of functions here. There'll be another one called uh, get user, get underscore user. So this is for getting a single user here. We'll be using their URL address like that. And what else? So get user, login user, sign up user, and we'll add uh, others as we go. Now it's important to be very explicit when uh, creating these. So I'm just going to say these are public because they'll be accessed from outside. So these are public functions like that. Okay, so in the in next video, we're going to see how to actually create a valid uh, to finish up this function so that we can use it to sign up right here. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.